What's up everyone? It's Gerald LaPointe from SNE Bass Angler. Today we're doing a little video to kind of do an unboxing and review on a bunch of products from a company called Beco Jigs. A uh, great tackle company. They're based up in the northeast out of Massachusetts. Uh, I have a great time doing business with these guys. They got some real top-notch products, great customer service, just all around a really good company to deal with. Just to be clear guys, I'm not sponsored by this company in any way, I'm not a pro staff, they didn't send me a bunch of free stuff hoping that I'll just do a good review on them, I just really believe in these products so I figured I'd share them with you guys. The deal they offer through their website, for $79.95 you get this box, it comes with 12 jigs, they also have a 6 jig box for $39.95 but with the way that I fish jigs, the way that they tend to get lost, 12 jigs was the way to go for me. Um, you can go on their website, bicojigs.com, B-I-C-O jigs.com. You can run through their whole lineup of baits, select any color options you like on whatever various jig styles and pretty much run the gamut of their whole lineup through this box. To start things off, the first jig, this is a great all-around jig. If you only have one jig you can have in the boat, this is the one you want, guys. It's the Bico Original Jig. First thing you'll notice with all of these jigs is a great stand-up posture that they get from that real flat section on the bottom of the jig head. This is a 5 aught owner deep throat hook that comes on this jig. When I first saw it, I thought it was a very unique hook shape. Um, I can tell you guys this hooks bass, it keeps them pinned and it gets them in the boat every time. The real premium components on all of these, they're all real high quality with a good heavy duty clear coat on there so you're not worrying about your paint job on your jig head chipping up after the first time you throw it. I use this as I would for pretty much any jig. I'll flip it, I'll pitch it around various cover, docks, rocks, wood, grass, whatever it may be. Because of the kind of hybrid style head on it, it also works great as a swim jig. Pair it up with a little swim bait, cast it out there, wind it around anything. They come in a 3 8 ounce size. You can fish it out a little bit deeper if you want to. Again, the versatility of it. Um, typically, I'm pairing this up. It's going to be some form of a creature or cross style bait. If I'm using it as a swim jig, I'll put a little swim bait or a fluke on there. And, you know, there's times where the bite gets a little tough, either high pressure or cold front conditions, something like that, where I'll pair it up with a little finesse worm. So that's the Beko Original Jig. Scaling down a bit, if you need to go to the finesse route, they have the Beko Bug. This is pretty much the same head shape as the original jig, but it's coming with a 3 aught owner deep throat hook. It's got the kind of finesse spider style skirt on it that gives you that great finesse presentation. Again, it has the excellent stand-up ability because of the flat portion on the bottom of the jig head. I'll fish this pretty much the same way I do the original jig, just anytime I need to scale down a little bit. I'll put a little three, two and a half inch, three inch creature bait on there, a little finesse worm, split tail, a bulbous style worm, anything like that, and just a great all-around bait when you need to go with a little more finesse presentation. Another bait that I really like from them is the Beko Baccarat Jig. This is basically a variation of a football jig style. Uh, the guys at Beko came up with this jig style because they travel a lot to Lake Baccarat down in Mexico chasing absolute trophy style bass down there. Bill Q, he came up with this just to be able to fish it down there basically to do what he needs to do when he's fishing in Mexico. As I said, it's a variation of a football style head, but it still has the great flat portion on the bottom of the jig, so you're gonna get that great stand-up ability that you get in all of Beko jigs. This again has the 5 aught owner deep throat hook that you saw in the original jig. You can see the, the angle that they're able to get on all their brush guards, so it sits right down there on that hook. You're gonna, you're gonna hook up with bass and you're not gonna hang up on cover. So again, it's the Beko Baccarat jig. If you need to go really big, we have the Beko Bomb. This is a one ounce punch style jig. First thing you notice when you take it out of the package is this huge 11 aught owner hook. The big advantage to this hook having such a long shank is the angle that they were able to achieve with their weed guard to keep everything real in a compact package that's nice and streamlined to get it in and out of those holes in the mats, vegetation, whatever you may be fishing it around comes with this great double keeper on it. If you fish heavy grass, you know that a bait that doesn't have a keeper can become an issue with all your baits sliding down the shank of the hook, getting hung up, stuff like that, sliding down, impeding your hook sets, anything like that. Because of this great double keeper, you're never gonna have to worry about that. It's the Beko Bomb. Something newer that they came out with last year that I've been real excited to get that I finally got my hands on is the Beko Underspin. Again, this is the same 5 aught owner deep throat hook. Great quality taxidermy eyes on this. Um, if you can see it, it's great quality eyes. They're really going to attract some fish. Same as with the bomb, it has this great double keeper on it to keep your bait in place. 
One thing I really like about this, as opposed to other underspins, is that the barrel swivel, they were able to mold it into the jig head itself. So where most bottom spins or underspins are gonna have some form of line tie or swivel coming right off the bottom of the jig head that then attaches to the barrel swivel, this is all molded into one package. So in my mind, this is gonna help to keep it that much more weedless. You don't have that obtrusive swivel sticking out of the bottom of your jig head that's gonna hang up and catch little pieces of grass that'll just impede your retrieve and stuff. Um, I'm gonna pair this up with any style swim bait. They actually designed it basically to fit perfectly with the Kitek Swing Impact Fat. So that's for the most part is what I'll be pairing it with, but ultimately any, sw any small paddle style swim bait you could get to work with it. I would just make sure it's something that is gonna fit the jig head itself. Um, they come in either a silver shiner or a golden shiner available with the Indiana or with a willow leaf style blade. Again, that's the Beko bottom spin. Something new that they've come out with this year, which I know a lot of people are excited about, is the Beko Ned Heads. Everyone knows how Ned Head fishing has become really hot in the past few years. It's a great style of finesse fishing. It catches numbers, it catches big fish, and it's just a really hot technique right now. As with all their other jigs, you're gonna get that great stand-up posture that you look for in a jig in general, but especially in a Ned Head. A great little hook keeper on there to keep your finesse plastics in place. One thing they did that's kind of unique that I haven't seen in many other net heads is that where the hook meets the jig head, it's kind of recessed. And so whatever small uh, worm you're putting on there is gonna sit down inside of the jig head. It's gonna help keep the whole profile just more streamlined and just one less place for any kind of piece of grass or anything to get hung up and ruin your retrieve. So guys, that's the full lineup from Beko Jigs. As I said, everything about them is real top-notch quality from the owner components, owner hooks, the paint jobs on the jig heads themselves, the quality of the skirts, uh, everything about these jigs really is just designed to help you catch fish and put more of them in the boat.